Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be trying to recreate a Pinterest cake. In the video that I did switching routines with my neighbor, I went onto Pinterest and I looked up cute, easy cake ideas. And I found a couple, but this one really stood out to me. I'll insert the picture right here so you guys can see which cake I'm talking about. It's the one with strawberries and like the chocolate drizzle. I've never made the chocolate drizzle, but it's like a ganache. So this is gonna be the first time I'm making ganache. I think I only have one cake video, which was from the first time I did Vlogmas, or the only time I did Vlogmas. That was the only cake video that I've ever done on this channel. Something that you guys don't know, me and my mom actually took baking classes at El Paso's Community College, and we took a like introduction into baking, like how to make cakes. So I'll insert some pictures here, so that way you guys can see some of the cakes that we've also made. So right here, I have three cakes I'm gonna show you two this one I have two layers that are like this it has pieces of strawberry in it and then this one is just a regular French vanilla they're all French vanilla just like two of them have chunks of strawberry and then this one just has nothing so this one's gonna go in the middle I made my cakes last night and I put them in the fridge so they're cooled down so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how I cut my cake I like to cut off the top so that way it's like a flat surface we're gonna move over there or should I just do it right here no we're gonna move over there to the table because I need to do my hand okay so I have my cake here and then I just use a regular knife I've tried using one of the like those cake cutters the ones where you like put the cake on the table and then you like do that the one that I have doesn't really work so maybe I'll try and get another one but I just use this knife and it works really good I'm gonna get a bowl really quick because we need to put the extra cake into that bowl okay so I have my bowl I'm just gonna put the extra cake in here so the way you want to do it is you want to just like relax your body your elbow needs to be right here like at your hip no not your hip your waist so you just kind of have to relax because while you're cutting the cake you can your arm will like loosen up and then your cake's gonna be like all crooked so like you just have to start off like being really relaxed and with your elbow to your waist you want to start like where you know it's gonna be even I'm gonna start cutting and then you just want to do like a small little cut as you spin the cake it just cuts it by itself and then eventually the whole layer will come off my hands are clean so I like to hold the cake so that way it doesn't move that much so right there there's the first layer off and there it is it's just it's smooth right here it looks a little crooked but I think that's just like the lighting of the cake because right here it's lighter I'm gonna get my other cakes and then we're gonna cut them this is the one that has strawberries I don't really see the strawberries yet I can see like the strawberries right there I'm just gonna do the same thing with these next two cakes Okay guys, so now that I have the cakes cut, I'm going to show you guys the next step I'm going to do. I'm going to make the buttercream. So for the buttercream, what you're going to need is all of these ingredients if you're going to make it from scratch. You can also buy the frosting already made, but we usually make it from scratch. So you're going to need a 32 ounce confection of powdered sugar, a cup of vegetable shortening, two tablespoons, no, two teaspoons of clear vanilla extract, a cup of unsalted butter, and then two tablespoons of light corn syrup. You're going to need two sticks of butter, which is a cup of butter, and then a, a cup of all vegetable shortening. You're going to put two teaspoons of clear vanilla extract, or you can put almond or like whatever flavor you want. And then you're going to need eight cups of your powdered sugar. Everything's going everywhere. All the freaking powdered sugar is all over our stove. I just don't. I on I really thought that this was gonna be more fun when I was like looking at the picture. I was like, oh, that's easy. That's a piece of cake. But now that I'm doing it, I'm like, do I want to keep going? I think the next time I bake, I'm just gonna buy the frosting already made. It's like a little easier. It would be easier that way, so that way I'm not like frustrated, like while I'm filming because right now I'm just like, oh, I just. Wanna, I just don't even want to do this. I just put three drops of this pink icing. I don't. I think I got this from Candies, which is like a cake store here. This is the pink that's on the picture. So I'm gonna put them next to each other. It looks a little pale right here. I don't know if it's the lighting, 
but it looks a little darker in person we're gonna do a crumb coat on the thing and then we'll start on the ganache which I'm really excited to see how that works out or how it turns out okay guys so I have my icing I have my three cakes right here I'm gonna start stacking them I have extra strawberries right here from the pieces that I put into the cake so I'm gonna put these if it comes off I'm gonna put these in like the middle as a filling so I think that's gonna taste so good This really, really smells good. I wish you guys can smell it. I'm gonna put the last layer of cake now. This one, you can see all the strawberries on the top. Like, I guess all the strawberries fell to the bottom, but it looks really, really, really good. This cake honestly kind of feels a little weird. I don't know if it's because there's strawberries in it, but like, it feels like if it's gonna like fall apart. Okay, so I finished crumb coating it. I think it looks pretty good. I'm just gonna put this in the fridge and then we'll take it out and then I'll do another layer so that way you won't see like the bread. But I'm gonna put this in the fridge and then we're gonna start making the ganache and the chocolate covered strawberries. Now I'm gonna start in the ganache but I need to look at the recipe that I screenshotted. We need heavy whipping cream or heavy cream and it says do not use half and half whole milk or any other liquid because ganache won't set up properly. So right here I got whipping cream so I'm going to try it with whipping cream and then pure chocolate. I also have this pure chocolate. I hope this is the right one. Oh my oven closed. What the hell? That scared me. I have this right here. It says pure chocolate. You can use semi-sweet chocolate recommended. Bittersweet chocolate, mutter, mutter, milk chocolate, and white chocolate. So, and then it says, when making homemade ganache, you need one-to-one -one ratio of cream to chocolate. So, heat cream on stove top until simmering. If it is boiling, the cream is too hot and could separate or even burn the chocolate. Once you see little simmers around the edges, turn off the heat and immediately pour the warm cream over the chocolate. Let the two sit for a few minutes before stirring. Stir until smooth. Okay, that seems pretty easy. So I'm gonna get my pan and then boil, start boiling the whipping cream. I'm gonna use this small pan because I don't wanna make too much, so I'm only gonna make like a cup or maybe like two cups. All my measuring cups are dirty, so I have a half a cup, so I'm just gonna do this one. Am I supposed to use this big knife? Is this a ser serrated knife? Okay, I don't know if this is the right one to use. I'm kinda scared. I'm gonna do a half a cup of whipping cream. I know I said this was a half a cup, but I barely realized that this is one fourth of a cup. So I'm gonna use two of these. I'm gonna pour the heavy whipping cream in already. And then we're just gonna let these two sit with each other for a little bit. 
I think what I am going to do, I'm going to do the second coat on the cake really quick while this is sitting. And then, and then the cake will be ready to start doing it. I didn't even do the chocolate covered strawberries. <gasps> It looks pretty bad on camera and in real life. I'm not gonna lie. And like all of this should be covered with the chocolate. So like this is the main part, right? Like that flat spot. So I'm gonna make that the front. I'm gonna put this in the fridge and then we're gonna do the chocolate covered strawberries really quick. And then I need to move that into a piping bag so we can do the little squirties. And then that'll be it. I don't have any more parchment paper. I just have wax paper. I don't know if it's the same thing. I have strawberries right here. They're already clean. I'm gonna do a little snip of this. <gasps> Whoa, crap. Okay, ready? Is it even doing it? It's not dripping! No! Drip, drip, drip. What the hell? No, that looks disgusting. Looks like diarrhea. That is so hard. Is it going? I'm too scared to stop and like look. Oh no. Oh no. Should I look? That doesn't look that bad from far. Um, that looks so bad. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put it all over. So I'm just going to start, it kind of looked like a rose one that they did. The cake looks like that so far, and now I need to put the sprinkles and then the strawberries. So I'm gonna do some sprinkles over this. I'm gonna get the huge one and I'm gonna put it like where it looks better from the front. Maybe like right here. I can put it right here. Wow. This is super, super heavy. Okay, guys, so I'm done with the cake. This is how it came out. The drizzles could have been better. Like, this is my first time making ganache and trying the drizzle. So, other than that, I think it kind of came out cute. I honestly thought I was going to do exactly like the picture. But, this is how it came out. I think it came out cute. Now, I don't know what to do with this whole cake. I mean, I'll probably have a slice. I want to cut it with you guys so we can see how the inside looks. <laughs> I'm about to cry. I'm not even joking. I was getting ready to sit down and I had this up in my hand or like I had my I had my arm up and it swung the charger and it freaking went into the cake. Hey guys, so I am set up. The cake is right here, well obviously. So I'm a little sad about that stupid invention. Like I can't believe that happened. 
I don't know how to grab this. This looks so good. There's not that many strawberries. No, no. <gasps> Guys, look at the cake completely fell apart. This is my cake. I think it looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna try it. It's really, really good. There was a point where I wanted to just like stop recording and not do it anymore because I was just getting frustrated with the powdered sugar, how it got all over the stove. Um, so I was already like, oh my God, like I'm just not gonna do this. I'm gonna just go sit down and then maybe tomorrow I can film it, but I'm actually happy I kept going because it came out really good. If you guys want me to make another one, like trying to make another Pinterest cake, let me know down in the comments. So I'm gonna end the video right here. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that way you guys don't miss a video and I'll see you guys next time, bye.